Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we have another episode brought to you by DLT Trading. Check them out for all of your knife and EDC needs. And guys, today is the day. I have finally found a slip joint knife that grabbed my attention, that made me want to review it. There was a few things I saw about this knife that I really liked. So I managed to get my hands on one, and I'm going to show it to you guys. This one here is none other than the Giant Mouse Farley. Now, before I go any further into this review, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Now, let's take a look at some overall specs on this knife right here. We have an overall length of 6.4 inches with a blade length coming in at 2.75 inches and a blade width of 785 thousandths. We have a blade thickness of 119 thousandths is what my calipers read, which means the, the, the probably like the, uh, the listed thickness is probably 120 thousandths. Another reason I like using calipers is because it gets a little more precise as long as they're precise, but maybe I put too much faith in my calipers. Nonetheless, right around 120 thousandths blade thickness. And we have a blade material of M390 on this guy. So a very nice premium steel. We have a full flat grind, a handle length coming in at 3.6 inches with a handle thickness of 416 thousandths and a handle width of 821 thousandths right around here in the middle with some micarta handle material. Of course, there's no locking mechanism. This is a slip joint, but uh, I got a lot to say about the uh, the sturdiness of this uh this slip joint here, very, very nice. A user of a right or left hand tip up carry, a very nice lightweight of two ounces and a price of $145. So 145 bucks, you know, for it's, you know, it falls in line with Giant Mouse. It's M390, it's Micarta. Um, there's some fit and finish here that I, I think helps support that price of $145. I don't think it's outrageous. I don't think it's a fantastic deal, but I think it's justified. So it is what it is, 145 bucks. Now let's take a look at some size comparisons here. Uh, size comparisons, let's go with the CJRB Rhea. And let's throw the Civivi Elementum up here because everybody knows how long that is and how, how big it is. And as you can see, that's, uh, the Elementum is considerably bigger than this Farley here. Let's take another one. Let's go with the Caviso Outdoors exclusive Best Tech Bandit. A little more in line, but still a little bigger. I think overall, the biggest example I have in terms of overall feel in hand is, is this CJRB Rhea here. So, um, pretty decent size comparisons. I'm sure you guys have a good idea of what we're working with at this point, especially since this is a, uh, a very new knife. Uh, it's come out, I think, within the past week, I believe. Week, week and a half, maybe. Um, but overall, it has a lot of attractive qualities. And very, very few times, guys, do I care about slip joints. Uh, slip joints are not really my thing. I don't enjoy them that much. Um, but this one, this one really got me looking. It got me interested. So I wanted to check one out. And I got to say, I'm glad I did. Now, let's start talking about this blade. Let's take a look at it. There's really not a whole lot to look at in terms of uniqueness. Uh, it's it's a very elegant, no frills drop point um, that, in my opinion, really does just work beautifully with the overall design of the handle and the rest of the knife. Um, very much falls in line. An excellent blade to handle ratio. Um, no issues there. And you have a very nice edge coming in at 18 thousandths. And anytime, guys, you have that 18 thousandths edge with a full flat grind, you're going to have a very nice uh, slicey little blade. Some people, I, I, every once in a while I have someone say, 18 thousandths is slicey? Well, yes, 18 thousandths is absolutely slicey when you compare it, when you pair it with a full flat grind. And again, not a very thick stock, around 119, 120 thousandths. That's a slicey blade. It doesn't matter. I mean, is thir would 13 thousandths maybe be a little slicier? Well, yeah, because it's thinner. That doesn't mean that 18 thousandths is a thick edge. You know, 18 thousandths is still a very slicey edge. And in my opinion, like I said, I've said this before in, in, in previous reviews, you get to 16 to 19 thousandths, that's, that's good. Maybe you could trim that down a little more. Maybe 16 to 18 thousandths is a little more, you know, narrow of a gap. But I, 
I have no zero issue with 18 thousandths behind the edge. That is totally good enough, and it's going to take care of any job, cutting job you need. Well, it was, you know, comparable for a slip joint, of course, because slip joints have their limitations, but no, no issue with this edge. I think it is a fantastic edge. I also really like the amount of sharpening tool you have here. Got a lot of life on this blade, and uh, it just looks good. Yeah, I, I always like seeing a good sharpening tool. I really think that kind of is a nice little highlighting point of the aesthetics of a knife. And of course, you know, this is the giant mouse, and I'm kind of assuming this here is an Italian-made model because it has that very nice crown spine that really does always look good, and it's an overlooked it's an overlooked feature on a knife until you get it in hand. You're, you're not going to notice a crown spine in, in just regular photos listed on a retailer's website. At least I don't, unless they really highlight it. But when you get it in hand and you open it up and, and you just really examine it and take a look at it, the crowning of the spine really does add a point of elegance to the knife that I think looks fantastic. So overall, it is a very solid blade. Excellent steel, excellent grind, excellent edge. Um, even the, the nail nick isn't quite as hideous on this one. I like how they have it nice and high. They don't have it halfway down the blade. Um, and it's kind of farther back on the blade too. So it leaves the whole, you know, upper half of the blade, if not, you know, upper, maybe two thirds of the blade almost, um, completely sterile and free and just looks very, very attractive. Now going into the handle and ergos, this is where things get a little less desirable, but it's kind of a double edged sword. So the ergos for me are just okay. They're not bad. They're definitely not bad, but they're just okay. And the reason I say that is because of this pocket clip right here. Now, this is where the double-edged sword comes in because this pocket clip is also the reason why I liked this knife so much just when I saw it on DLT's website because I wanted, I hate slips. I, you know, I used to think maybe I could make a, a slip work, you know, to where there's no clip. You just slip it in the leather, leather slip and put it in your pocket. I don't like them. I mean, in my opinion, and I'm sure there's people out there that like them, and I, I'm not here to argue with you because everyone likes what they like. I just think slips suck. I like the way they look. I like the idea of them. They don't work for me. I don't like them. So when I saw this clip on this slip joint, I thought, okay, you know what? Now we're starting to talk my language. We got a, you know, a wire clip, which I usually do like, um, and I don't dislike this one. Again, I want a clip on my knives. So I love the fact this had the clip. That's why I got it. And then I put it in hand, and it's just, it's kind of a bulky wire clip. Um, it works fine. Works just fine. In and out of the pocket, no issue. Um, you know, Giant Mouse, they have a way of... <sighs> They can either really nail a wire clip or, you know, they can put a wire clip like this on a knife like this and, and make it just kind of okay. Um, a couple examples here. I should have had this ready, but I didn't think of it until just now. Let me grab it real quick. I have my giant mouse. Yeah. Here I have my giant mouse grand. Now, on this grand is almost, it is, let's see. Yeah, very, very, ever so slightly wider, maybe. Really, for all intents and purposes, these are almost identical wire clips. Now, let's see. Let's actually, let's get a little deeper look here. Okay, so they're, they are different, obviously. This is a little higher profile. It's slightly bigger. But on a handle this big... This wire clip is no issue. It feels pretty good in hand. I don't have any real complaints, no hot spots. I love the Ace Grand, by the way. Um, but it works. It works really, really well on this knife. Now, when I get into such a smaller handle, the handle is considerably smaller than the Grand, but the clip is not necessarily in scale with that. The clip, in my opinion, should be a little smaller. It should be flatter because it's such a small handle. It's just such a predominant feel when I get this in hand. Now, something like a wire clip like the, uh, like this Finch uh, Devil's Finger here is a little more enjoyable for me on a smaller handle because it's lower profile. It's flatter up here. Um, this is one of my favorite wire clips on a knife ever. It's very, very nice. Something like this on, on this knife would probably make it even more enjoyable. But at the end of the day, I'm still not like, it's not a deal breaker because there's a lot of other really great aspects of this knife that I really do enjoy. Um, but that is one thing that I think I would change on this is just a, a lower profile, a flatter type of wire clip. I don't necessarily need a different style of clip, but just a lower profile clip. One that doesn't 
need a kind of hog the feeling of a handle so much. But when you get past the clip, you get into a very nice handle. The micarta on Giant Mouse knives are always great. And this micarta is just as good, but it's actually grippier. I'll bring that uh, grand back in here. And as you can see, both great micartas. Um, I think everyone that's handled a grand before, and I've said this in my review of the grand, um, very nice micarta, but it's smooth. It's a much smoother micarta than this. This is a much grippier micarta, which is nice because it's a smaller handle. So you want all the grip you can get on it. And this really does the trick very well. Gives you that nice micarta grain, nice feel around the edges too. You don't have too proud a liner. So you still get a little grip on the ends with that micarta being there. So very nice grip on the handle. And I love the crowning on the spine of the handle going all the way back to this very nice jimping here towards the back of the handle where it leads into the lanyard hole which I do like the way even though I don't necessarily love lanyard holes I really love the way that Giant Mouse always incorporates their lanyard hole they always give it they make it look like it kind of belongs there like it's not just an afterthought really do enjoy the lanyard holes on that even though I don't necessarily use them this actually may be one that would probably be suited very well for just a small lanyard maybe like a you know one and a half inch lanyard off the back of that would be pretty nice, I think, and would suit the knife real well and actually still serve a good purpose to pull it out of your pocket when it's sitting in there, uh, you know, in the closed position, just hanging out in your pocket. So very nice there. Again, I think it could use a better clip, but overall, um, an acceptable handle. Now going into the action, this is where it really separates this slip joint from other slip joints because I am going to close this guy. Listen to that. Very, another thing that I really like when you're closing this blade, it's a nice dull thwack. It's not a real crisp, like smashing thwack that can, you know, feel like you're going to drop the knife. It's a very nice, subtle, subdued, but solid thwack. And the walk and talk on this guy is absolutely fantastic. Very, very nice half stop. Uh, very secure half stop. At any point where this blade sits, it is solid. It's a very, very, it, it, it's a nice, solid, tight feel. It's not loose. It's not like to where you touch it a little and the blade's moving back and forth. Um, very solid. I don't want to say lock up, but it almost feels like a lock up. I mean, you have to put substantial pressure on this blade to start moving it to close it in that position. Now, when you're pulling it out, you hit that nice, solid half stop. And when you go to open the blade fully, just listen. I kind of pulled my finger off there, but it is such a solid, secure opening. I, I'm pushing considerably hard on this blade, harder than I've ever pushed on a blade of a slip joint before, and it's not closing on me. This is a very secure slip joint. Now, again, every slip joint has its limitations. You have to be smart with a slip joint, but it's the most solid slip joint, and it's the most solid walk and talk I've ever felt on one. Now, I haven't handled a lot, but I've handled other premium slip joints that I just, again, I, I don't really get too excited to do reviews about them because usually I'm not checking them out at home. I'm at a store somewhere or I'm at a knife show, so somewhere other than in my office recording videos. But this one is just so good. Um, if you do like slip joints and you nice, like a nice stiff walk and talk, you've got to check this one out. Because it really, really is good. I, I, I know my slip joints well enough to say that. I'm not a slip joint connoisseur by any means. But I love the walk and talk on this guy. It is definitely one to where there's not many slip joints. I only own one other slip joint. It's, it's a Victorian Knox Swiss Army knife that I got in uh, France. But this is just... Or Switzerland. What's wrong with me? I got it in Switzerland. Um, this one's good. This one's very, very good. If you like Giant Mouse and you like slip joints and you love that Jens Anzo and Jesper Voxness style of design, this is a no-brainer in my opinion. Um, it is a fantastic offering. The only thing, again, I would I would definitely look into other clip replacement options because it's just your typical, typical wire clip. I'm sure there's other options out there. Would not be a bad idea to swap that out with maybe a little lower profile clip. Heck, you may have some in your collection you can swap it out with. But nonetheless, the knife in whole as a whole is fantastic. Love this blade. Love the blade to handle ratio. The walk and talk, as I said... The best I've ever experienced on a slip joint. I also like how when you're pulling it out, you don't necessarily have to use the nail nick. Now, I can use it, and it works as good as any nail nick does. 
but you can kind of like pull it out using your nail and then go into this position here and open it the rest of the way. And just listen to that one more time. Listen to how snappy this is when you pull it out. It is crisp and locked out, not literally, but it feels like it. There's no lock on this knife, full blown slip joint, but boy oh boy, love the walk and talk on this guy. Okay, I'm done praising the walk and talk. I've given you guys my overall thoughts already. I think it's a great knife. I think it's one that anyone that likes slip joints would enjoy. If you like Giant Mouse and that Vox, if you, if you, this could be a very, very excellent knife for a lot of people because I know Giant Mouse brand is popular. I know a lot of people love Vox. Um, this is it, guys. This is one that I highly recommend checking out. There's not many slip joints that get me excited, but this was one of them, the Giant Mouse Farley. Let me know what you think about this, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and until the next one, I'm out.